All right, my fellow coding adventurers, in our last lesson, we bravely ventured forth into the realm of Flutter, creating a shiny new material app. It's like the cornerstone of our app, the canvas on which we're gonna paint our digital masterpiece. And guess what? It comes with a magical treasure chest of widgets, like text and images. But today, our journey takes an exciting twist. We're going to dive deep into creating a scaffold within our material app. Think of it as the framework of your app, the scaffolding that holds everything together. It's where you'll hang your app bar, have a cozy spot for your main content, or even park a floating button if you're feeling adventurous. Now, about this scaffold widget, it's like a Swiss army knife for your app's layout. It's a multi-tool that lets you add common elements to your screen. Think of it as your trusty sidekick in the Flutter world. Before we embark on this new adventure, I'd suggest taking a peek at the scaffold class documentation. It's like the map to your treasure trove, showing you all the hidden gems you can discover. So inside our app, instead of a single centered text, we're going to shake things up a bit. It's time to channel your inner digital architect, and we're gonna start by clearing the deck. Select everything up to that closing comment for the center widget and give it the old delete treatment. You'll notice those helpful comments magically appear, marking the end of the center widget, the material app widget, and more. It's like breadcrumbs in a digital forest. And remember, if all these comments get in your way and clutter your code, you can turn them off in your preferences. But personally, I find them handy. Now, let's bid farewell to our beloved center widget, which has been the heart of our material app thus far. It's time to introduce its replacement, the scaffold widget. The scaffold is like the stage where your app's play will unfold, and it's an incredibly versatile widget with countless possibilities. Within the parentheses of our scaffold, make sure to add a comma after every new piece of code. Trust me, it's a habit that will save you from endless debugging headaches. Inside these parentheses, we're going to set the stage with an app bar. How? Simply type app bar. We're telling our scaffold, hey, in this top spot, we need an app bar. Now, the app bar is like a very important person section for your app. It's a ready-made, sleek, and shiny material design element, adding a stylish top bar to your app. But it's not just a pretty face, it's incredibly customizable. If you peek at the app bar class documentation, you'll find a treasure trove of options to make it your own. So there you have it. We're setting the stage for our app's next act, and the scaffold is our trusty director. Stay tuned, because there are countless more widgets and features waiting for us to explore in this fantastic Flutter world. Now, hold on to your coding hats because we're about to spruce up our app bar. Remember, the app bar has a ton of fancy options like a restaurant menu, but we're going to keep it simple, elegant, and not overly complicated. This app bar is like a chameleon. You can change its appearance and personality with various properties. For instance, it can change its background color or even its brightness, but we won't turn it into a disco light show. We're going for classy, not flashy. Let's start with the title. We're going to give our app bar a name because every app deserves a proper introduction. We'll set the title property and like any good storyteller, we're going to make it a text widget. So what's our app's name you ask? It's none other than I am rich. Yes, a name that screams sophistication and, well, extravagance, but we love it. Now, let's run our app and see what we've got. Aha, look at that. We now have a real bona fide app bar with a title, I am rich. It's like our app's dressing up for a fancy gala, complete with a top hat and a monocle. But wait, what's that tiny banner in the top right corner? It says debug. Don't worry, it's just your app's way of saying, hey, I'm a work in progress. It's like those under construction signs from the 90s websites, remember those. Don't fret. When your app graduates to the real world, this banner will vanish. Let's talk about our fancy app bar. It's like a treasure chest of customization possibilities. We've already tackled its title, but there's more. You can add buttons to it, change its shape, and a bunch of other cool tricks. One thing I'm excited about changing is the background color of our app bar. That default blue is nice, but we want to go for fancy and classy. Who wants to look just nice when you can be fancier than a penguin at a black tie event? To make this transformation happen, we're going to explore the properties of our app bar. One of them seems to be exactly what we need. The background color, it's like choosing the perfect tie for our suit. But here's the trick. Our app bar property wants a color and we've got to give it one. The good news is that Flutter comes with a vast array of material colors. It's like a painter's palette filled with every color you could dream of. You get access to these by making your app a material app. It's like entering a candy store of colors. So. To change our app bar's background color, we'll use these predefined material colors. 
You can take a look at all these colors on a dedicated page. There are various shades, tones, and accents to choose from. It's like picking the perfect color for your room, but way more fun. In our case, I'm feeling a dark shade of blue-gray, like the color of a stormy sea. It's fancy and subtle. I like blue-green 900, which is a deep, mysterious blue-gray. To add this color to our app bar, you'll type blue-green and then inside square brackets write 900. Run your app once more, and voila. The background of your app bar has transformed into a classy, dark blue-gray. Now that's what I call sophisticated change. Your client will be thrilled, and your app is ready to shine at any exclusive digital event. Now, take a moment to appreciate our spiffy app bar. It's like the cherry on top of a digital sundae. But we can't stop there, can we? The next big thing to tinker with is the main body of our app. In the world of scaffolds, the app bar is just the opening act, and the real star of the show is the body to where all the action happens, the place where your app's heart beats. Remember, your scaffold class has two important properties, the app bar, which we've already jazzed up, and the body, which is like the canvas for your app's masterpiece. This is where you'll put all the exciting content. You can think of it as a vast, empty stage, just waiting for the actors to make their entrance. So, inside your scaffold, we've been working with just one property, which is the app bar. We've created a real app bar widget and changed two of its properties. We gave it a title and a beautiful blue-gray background, but what if we wanted to change the entire background of our scaffold, not just the app bar, but the entire stage? Here's a challenge for you. Explore the documentation for the scaffold widget and see if you can figure out how to change the background color of our scaffold entirely. Go ahead, hit pause, and give it a try. You're basically a coding detective now. All right, did you manage to uncover the secret of changing the scaffold's background color? If not, don't worry. I'm here to help you decode it. When you're in the documentation, you can find the scaffold class, read up on what it does, and most importantly, discover the myriad properties it offers for customization. We've already set up an app bar, but now we want to add the background color property to our scaffold. This one property will give us complete control over the background color of our entire app. Imagine that your scaffold is a blank canvas and you're about to apply a fresh coat of paint to the background. We'll simply add this property in our code, like a stroke of genius. The background color property will transform the entire backdrop of your app, making it look and feel the way you desire. Let's do it step by step. First, add this background color property inside your scaffold widget. You can set it to the color you prefer, like colors, blue-gray. Run your app again, and you'll witness the magical transformation. The whole background has changed to a calming blue-gray, giving your app a classy and consistent look. It's a breeze, right? You're becoming a Flutter Pro, one widget at a time. But remember, our app isn't just about looking good. It's about providing meaningful content. Right now, our app is as empty as a ghost town during siesta time. We need to add something to it, like a magician pulling a rabbit out of a hat. So if you revisit the scaffold class in the documentation, you'll see an example showing a scaffold with an app bar, bottom app bar, and even a floating action button. These are like the secret compartments of your app's treasure chest. But the most important part is the body, the place where your app's magic happens. To set the stage for this magic, we need to assign something to the body property. It's like deciding what play will be performed on our digital stage. And for that, you need a widget, something that will be displayed in the main content area. Let's do this. Add the body property to your scaffold and provide a widget. I've got an exciting idea. How about using an image widget? It's like hanging a beautiful painting on your app's wall. You can create it by typing image and then deciding what kind of image you want to show. Now, there are a couple of images in the documentation, but we want the one that's actually going to show up on the screen. So we're interested in the widget image. Remember, there might be similar names for different things in the documentation. So it's like picking the right flavor from a menu. For our body, we'll use an image widget, which is initially like a blank canvas. And we'll choose its properties to display the image we want. But hold on. This is just the beginning. Your app's content can be as creative and diverse as your imagination allows. So stay tuned because we're about to unleash the full potential of your Flutter app, one widget at a time. Wow. Take a moment to admire your handiwork. Our I Am Rich app is shaping up beautifully. You've mastered the art of creating and customizing widgets like a pro. Now, let's break down our app structure and see how it all fits together. At the top of our widget tree, we have the Mighty Material app like the kingpin of our app's organization, governing everything beneath it. 
The material app houses a single child, which is our trusty scaffold. Think of the scaffold as the stage manager, orchestrating the show for your app. Inside this powerful scaffold, we have three key players, the app bar, the body, and the background color. The app bar, like a master of ceremonies, sets the stage for the entire performance. We've provided it with a title and a snazzy background color, giving our app a polished look. The background color wraps our entire app in a consistent and pleasing blue-gray hue. It's like the canvas on which our app story unfolds, setting the mood for the audience. Now, the real star of the show is the body. This is where the core content of our app resides. And guess what? We've chosen to display an image widget as the leading act. The image widget is initially like a blank canvas, eagerly waiting to showcase your selected image. We've cleverly assigned a network image to fetch a picture from the internet. Our app is like a skilled curator choosing a masterpiece for display. But that's not all. We didn't just slap the image onto the screen. We centered it beautifully, making it the main attraction on the digital stage. Our app is now an art gallery, presenting its prized exhibit. Now, here's a challenge for you. As it stands, our image is at the top of our app. Can you make it so that the image is centered inside the body of our scaffold? You've got this. And remember, to center a widget within another widget, you can use the center widget. Oh, and here's a neat trick for you. If you want to embed one widget inside another quickly, just click on the widget you want to embed and you'll see a handy yellow light bulb pop up. Or if you're feeling more adventurous, hold down Alt on Windows or Option on Mac and hit Enter. A menu will appear, making it super easy to embed the selected widget inside another. It's like coding magic. With this simple tweak, your image will be beautifully centered in the body of our scaffold. There you have it. You've created an app that looks sophisticated and does some pretty amazing things, all with just a handful of lines of code. It's like turning a blank canvas into a work of art. Before we wrap up, take a moment to appreciate the structure of our I Am Rich app. It's like building a blueprint for a digital mansion. If you enjoyed this video and are now officially Team Flutter, give that like button a good old thumbs up like you're squishing a virtual bug but a friendly one. Now, if you found this video as delightful as a fluffy kitten playing the piano, don't forget to hit share. Spread the flutter love, because, well, sharing is caring, right?